Well, first two traps of the day. Picked up a little coot here. At least I'm catching something the last in four days. I haven't really got nothing but a muskrat and a possum. But at least he stayed out of my fisher box trying to get a fisher to come through here. It's been here for about five days now, nothing but a little bit of warm up. Luckily he didn't pull the rebar too far and knock my box around it. You know, take care of me one to the next one. Well, I'm finally pulling uh, sets down here at the farm where I caught the bog cat. These hay sets, I don't know what's going on, but they just haven't been, uh, nothing's been messing with them since I caught that fox there Christmas Day. I really, not, not even had a trap fired off, but um, I noticed the hay, I had some hay on top of this rock. I don't know if the wind blew it off or what, but um, hate to pull down here because I know it's a really good spot. I really didn't get up to go up into that finger up the top. I wanted to, but I just never got time. I started beaver trapping and that was taking up most of my time, but I'm only setting up on some beavers, but I did pick this coon up down here. I've seen a really nice coon. I set this two days ago right at the base of this tree. <clears throat> I'm glad. Well, I was messing with these hay sets anyhow, but at least you didn't get my hay set. He's really trying to get out of there. Man, that's a big coon. Wow, that thing's huge. Really nice coon. So we'll get him up over the hill here. And I've got a couple more dog fruits down here and two fisher boxes. Might have some more coons. And I got some uh, a couple fox traps. Line sets I set just two days ago. Maybe one of them come through. We'll see. Got another nice coon here. Third one of the day. Have two dog proof set here. I got a uh, drowner bag in here, drowner cable, and a um, couple couple traps. I'm going to try to set real quick. It's like 4 o'clock now, but I brought my headlamp with me, so I'll try to set a couple of them after I get that drowner cable in if I get time. Get this guy. Nothing's been back at this set yet. This is where I got that first beaver of the season. We only got two so far, didn't get a chance to record the second one, but I just started getting some beaver sets out, but I had to tie or fasten the trap right to the block on this set. I wired it to, right to the block, as you can see, and then I got my drowner cable staked off here. So as soon as it gets caught, I'll just pull the block out there, and my drowner cable was all messed up there, so it, the slide wouldn't get on it, so I just did that. This looks like a bank den right there, I didn't even notice, but it's muskrat. But yeah, very definitely muskrat because there's a lot of them around here. But um, I had this blind set here, number old, oh, number 11, Lake and Lamb for a long time now, probably three weeks now, since I started beaver trapping here anyway, two weeks. And I had another one right up here, on a pretty good run here. Well, this one finally picked up a rat. I don't know if he's playing dead. No, he's still alive. But yeah, an old old Victor Long Spring. <laughs> he, well, we'll get him and uh, go see if we got any more good looking ride anyway. Another nice coon here. Got three yesterday. This is first one today so far. I'm only about halfway through my line though, so hopefully I can pick up at least one or two more. Got two drowner cables right here. I'm gonna check down the stream a little bit. He smells something. Uh, he was getting, he was fighting with something in here last night, or might not have been. I guess it wasn't last night, but um, something tore his face up. Looks old though. So maybe it's a good thing I got caught him. 
Get something about his nose all tore up. I can't let you go, buddy. Oh, drowner's down. At least I don't see it. I usually, my cable got a little bit of slack and I'll put another stick right in front of the other stick just to hold, push the cable over tight. You just gotta make sure it's up in front of your uh, drowner slide. But it's gone, I see, and I can't see nothing so deep and muddy here. But I got a big drowner bag out there. No, I forgot my, cell, my stand to hold my cell phone again, so I'm gonna, I got these traps set up. I'm just gonna set it on there. See what we got. Hopefully not a muskrat. But if so, well, I already got one rat. One raccoon today. One muskrat, one coon so far. Uh, I don't know, if just a little bit. It kind of got windy last night. And, uh, hopefully my phone don't end up in the water, but um, yeah, it kind of got windy and then pulled off a little bit, so I don't know if I had a bunch of dog proofs out in good locations. I definitely should have had at least two or three raccoons, but as soon as I got here, I seen a real big oak tree. I set two on. I seen there was nothing in them, so I kind of had a feeling. But yeah, this is the last trap here, actually. I set this last night at 7 o'clock in the dark. And I, I kind of had a feeling. An old guy one time told me, uh, find the bends in the creek and you'll put a drowner there and you'll catch beaver if they're in the area. I've always had good luck for you on the bends. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of sign here. There's a hot right up in here, so. It's a good 50, 60 yards up, trying to stay away from it so I don't catch your kits. Oh, I think we got a mess. Damn it. Well, he must have got out. Oh well, we'll try again. What are you gonna tow in there, huh? finally found my muskrat yesterday I checked this set last night I couldn't find it and the day before I couldn't find it neither so the last two days I couldn't find it well I had it staked good and I had it I thought I had it up on over a root but it must have been coming in its hole here pretty quick and took the took a set right in it was in the hole about two feet I was took a stick and was shoving it up in there and as soon as I started dragging it out I could tell I was I could feel it on there and so I pulled it out of there But ain't been having no luck with a beaver here. Um, had one of my drowners down at the end and throw it off. So I'm try to set maybe move some 330s around. Try to catch one of them maybe. We'll see. Something dug my sardines out of there and took a crap on them. If anybody knows what that is, let me know what kind of crap that is. I'm guessing a mink. It ain't no muskrat, I knew that. They wouldn't have been digging for fish anyway, but I'm thinking as a mink, there's a little hole here. I don't have a 110 on me or I'd set it. Maybe I got a muskrat. Put a hole in there and move this dog proof. I think this set here is going to be deadly. Set on a good kind of a run here, like an edge set, you'd call it. On the edge of this little stream here, there's some stuff here and then. Kind of like sandwich in between the whatever the heck all that stuff is in the bank here. And they got a dive log. And then they got this stick off the bank with a little caster on it. This is all everything over here to the edge, so they'll be going right through here. Got the triggers a little offset, so I don't get a muskrat to set it off. But I have a feeling that'll, that'll have a beaver the next day or two.